Hello and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2, the naval strategy game where you play a mixture of Jackie Fisher and John Jellico. So you are the Grand Admiral or the First Sea Lord who designs the fleet as well as the fleet commander in battle. This is um, the year 1947. We are playing the Japanese Navy and we are at war with the Soviet Union and so far it, it uh, is going pretty well. Um, we've crushed the fleet in the Pacific, but they are about to send reinforcements. Maybe we'll have another battle of Tsushima, but here it's another battle um, where, our, where our fleet is about to intercept a transport convoy. And if the intel is correct, the defense this convoy has is only like one destroyer and one light carrier. So we should have a pretty easy game with several battleships, battle cruisers, and a lot of carriers. So we start off um, by sending some bombers to the last position that was spotted. Um, one fighter and the rest bombers, because I think the majority of them will probably, uh, there won't be that much um, air defense. And we could do a coordinated strike, but we see it's um, 20 additional minutes, no, 40 additional minutes to do a coordinated strike. So I guess let's just start them piecemeal. Yeah, I don't expect the defense to be too strong. So in that regard, we should be fine. Um, we have three carrier divisions. So in that regard, we can actually launch an quite a number of strikes. Um, let's send more dive bombers to that place as well. Launch a strike, send them with heavier load and those are only float planes. Okay. And more bombers. Shokaku. Uh, let's start. No, let, let's start with dive bombers for now mostly at least and a little more escort just to make sure launch another strike and we should be fine okay we should also increase the speed so we get there a little faster and apart from that it's just a game of waiting to some degree until our fleet has closed in far enough Okay, and the first ship is spotted. Radar contact and our planes are already going to attack them. A destroyer, need to be careful as usually, and the first torpedo hits. We need to be careful as usually not to eat torpedoes, because they really are a nightmare and one small destroyer can easily crush our fleet but as we see the, the torpedo bombers and dive bombers already do their job so unless there is a mistake that we allow a destroyer to torpedo our battleships that should be a rather short battle in this regard okay let's make sure we don't to take too much damage by changing the course slightly at least because he might very well be launching torpedoes even though we are bowing to him which reduces the risk of being hit significantly but still we should take every precaution and as we can see hit among hit among hit so our carrier planes really do their job and there are already two transport planes sunk. So let's just keep that destroyer in mind. Make sure he doesn't get our broadside too early. Or at least not for too long on a straight line. And he's already circling because his, his rudder is damaged. Uh, I don't think he'll be for long in this world anymore. Yep, he's, he's stopped so he's sinking already. Now just charging into the 
enemy transport fleet which should then end all of that pretty fast is there anything left that can torpedo us BB hit by what where was a BB easy oh one of mine is hit oh <laughs> that's not good and he's actually he has taken a lot of damage but it's one of the treaty class um, battleships so there was a second treaty after the Washington naval treaty after there's been a, sh a war with France when we agreed to a another naval treaty to make sure the um, the war doesn't break out too fast again and that treaty had um, limited the size of the ships to 18,000 tons. We see one battleship heavily damaged and the rest is just crushed. It's already over. So, almost too fast, but the Ca Battle of Cape Mayak was another convincing victory. Okay, let's check where the Russian fleet, the Soviet fleet is. Okay, there are some. Here are probably more. You can check it here. Okay, they are already here, so they will arrive next turn, next month, I guess. Um, because I don't think they sh they stay here. They don't have the support here, anyways. Anything we should change? I don't think so. We can just continue. Oh, what is our ship production going? Our two Yamato class. Oh, we are only building one because we can't afford more. Okay. Soviet general announcing total war. Okay. This is a new event and thanks to the Soviets. Okay. So I guess this war will last a little longer. Convoy attack, another convoy attack, okay, and they decline battle. Raid on coastal shipping. Now they have already two battleships here, so I might be able to do some damage. That is helping, unless of course I'm left with only light cruisers. That is a little unfortunate. I just hope I won't face their battleships because those, if I remember correctly, are anti-aircraft cruisers. Yes, so they aren't too strong um, in surface combat. I have to be careful thus and make sure I don't run into a superior force that crushes me because they had already happened once. That my th another three anti-aircraft cruisers were just deleted by a superior force. Uh, that's just a transport ship. Let's check here. I need to sink two ships of any kind for this to be counted, to be seen as a victory. So that first ship sunk should be... Yep, he's already stopping and I guess he's sinking. So let's go closer. And let's look for something else. Another, another transport ship. Okay. So after that one is sunk, we will already get the victory points for the coastal raid. After that, taking unnecessary risks don't make too much sense anymore. But that will be, doesn't mean I won't. I will just be running what is here a corvette okay they don't have torpedoes so we should be fine here and it's already sunk perfect that coastal bat battery there this is a coastal battery i think should be f should be uh, could be dangerous so i shouldn't stay there for too long close this is the firing range so yeah it's a six inch coastal battery okay let's hope no bomb hits, no bomb hits. 
I mean, the AA is really strong, so in general they should be able to defend well. But apparently my naval air station doesn't give me um, combat air patrol, so I might actually already retreat. Doesn't seem to make too much sense to stay around here. This is probably just another transport. I know if he's staying inside the minefield, I can't get close anyway, so I will look for that contact down here. And when we have it, yeah, it's a destroyer, so we need to be careful. But he doesn't torpedo us. Probably speed up, which should help against the air attack as well but that one is hit it is okay top speed 17 that's a lot in reduction not good I guess we will just retreat doesn't seem to make any sense to take any unnecessary risks right now so we slow down to 12 to 11 maybe so he, this one can follow up again and join the fleet and they did and it's what is it light rain so less risk of air attack perfect okay let's go down to 10 knots because they had flooding and of 10 knots and lower it should the risk of getting additional flooding is massively reduced and now let's just retreat little boring in this way but there's no point in taking the risk of being sunk what actually had for that port here okay they suffer additional flooding I need to check why is that one charging with 11 knots and it's about to sink I guess the system didn't work too well once more why he's not supposed to race let's just slow them down as well maybe that helps what, what is this? Why is it charging away? Let's just stop them. Time is about to run out anyways. You f goddamn thing, stop. Let's just stop them all. I have no idea why the other unit closing in means they charge away and now they sink awesome so the engine sunk my ship not the enemy which means I am far less of a success than I should have had but yeah still a victory but kind of a sour one I always hate this, but it happens again and again that the engine basically sabotages your game. Unfortunately, this game isn't perfect. Okay. Um, where are the Soviet ships? Okay, why are some of them here now? Did they move back? They have two battleships here according to this. Well, let's see. We'll just continue the war. And we own Kamchatka. Awesome. Um, without border changes, yeah. I mean, that's a lowering in prestige, but I don't care. I don't want all peace negotiations. Okay. I should, probably shouldn't have accepted it. Um, I need more range, a uh, new, new float plane scout, I need good range, that sounds good, greatest range, faster even than the one coming close, more maneuverable, much more maneuverable, maneuverable, 
tough too. So yeah, let's take that one. Cruiser action. They have one battle cruiser, we have five. Okay, small engagement. Let's see what this is. Oh, one of those light cruisers. Do I have a mission objective? I don't. Okay, so I'll just race them back. There's no point in, in the end, maybe facing a battle cruiser. Unfortunately, as I said, I can't order immediately, so I need to be careful to hit pause as soon as I can. And then I'll just race them full speed back to port. Maybe my land based aviation can even sink a ship or two. Okay, there it is. Let's go here. And full speed. And we can speed it up too. Okay. Draw. Yeah, I, they actually had a battleship. Good thing I didn't look for a fight. Okay. Finally, have positive income again. Could upgrade one of them here, but that doesn't make too much sense. Can I do a useful redesign of that ship, of the Hosho class? Let's see, because they are becoming old. I have eight inch guns. Yeah, I don't need eight inch guns. They were the first one where the government asked me to use them. I could turn it to six inch dual purpose with autoloader and still have weight left, so I can probably increase the flight capacity light slightly. <laughs> By one. Not really that impressive. Let's do two AA um, directors and we need to check the weight remaining because if it's too heavy it can suffer in seaworthiness or in the top speed might go, might go down and we obviously want the ship to be as close as fast as possible so yeah let's do this design yeah. mm. this one is already damaged so or in in um, dock anyway, so that let's modernize that one. But we are going to wait with the other ones until the first ones are finished. But our light cruisers might need an update. Can I do something here? I could give them mine sweeping gear, but that raises the weight drastically. They have the most advanced fire director. They do. Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't think it, there's a point, at least not yet. Okay, that Asama is becoming old. But again, only two and a half inch deck. I don't think an upgrade really makes much sense. They have to be scrapped as soon as possible when the war ends. Italian possession, okay. Uh, creeping zone. Yeah, let's sell the French something. Yes. Takao. No, those don't. Soviet, unfortunately, only damaged. Soviet battle cruiser. Our light cruiser is damaged and in, in, um, in the dock. Convoy attack. Yes. Aircraft are supposed to attack the enemy ships. We can immediately launch a strike. Is it? N it's night. Okay, we can't. Only the battle cruisers then, and then I have to be careful because at night, oh well, I have radar, so I have some security. Yeah, unless of course a battle cruiser pops up right in front of me. Which ones are those? 
813 inch yeah they are one of the old ones well let's see what those guys can do <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, what was identified as a battle cruiser blows up like after one of the first hits well could be worse he if he isn't a transport ship he will launch torpedoes so I better expect him to be uh, launching and change course never hurts okay it's a seaplane ship now let's charge into the fleet and order our, our destroyers to do a torpedo attack those I think are too fast so they are probably oh no they are not supposed to send their torpedoes on them well too late now yes they are too fast for transports though I guess those are destroyers so I need to change course frequently and make sure they aren't yeah this doesn't happen which did and it's significant damage already so yeah you need to be careful here should probably order the battle cruiser to run away but I think I still need his firepower and the other thing is um, it's an old one one that is supposed to be scrapped after the war so if I lose it it's bad for victory points and it's bad because I'm still it's still better than no ship but at least it's not a ship I uh, which um, would be irreplaceable or well it's irreplaceable right now but it, it's not a very valuable ship apart from the fact that I can't replace him right now if that makes any sense okay let's turn down south again because that is a destroyer and then sharp left again can this one launch torpedoes no i mean he's sinking but as long as he isn't sunk he can still launch torpedoes but his tubes are already empty so in that regard that was uh, didn't make any sense what are the carriers doing okay i guess they are far enough away those are destroyers too so i need to be aware of that And other than that, we are just raping their their convoy really hard. Just charging through, shooting left and right, letting the secondaries do their job and shooting the main guns into the ships. Okay, time for a course change. Because that one, can I, I should probably target him manually. What is the closest one? This one? Yes. So guys, please shoot this one. And back in. And it's still being hit. Damn it. Okay, not, not too big a damage. What is the top speed I can do? I should probably reduce it. But I think it is about time that I retreat, letting a few transport ships getting away doesn't seem that bad if the, the alternative is losing, a, losing one of my battle cruisers. Now on the other hand, I'm kind of greedy. I mean, it's all victory points in the end. Hmm. down let's sink those three he shouldn't be able to torpedo with his own ships in the way but can't be completely sure so let's change course again
turned back in. Okay, where's the rest? They are retreating north. And I think it's time to send the fleet south. Combined, we go down to 10 knots to make sure the ships don't take any necessary flooding. And then let's just retreat. And thanks to radar, I'll be able to shoot what comes after me, and they will have a really hard time of landing torpedoes, torpedoes while I'm moving away, even though I'm slower. As I increase the range while they are in under constant fire from me. I think I should do a slight course change just to make sure to reduce the risks. What are the carriers doing? Let's send them. Let's send them south as well. Come on. Can't select it for whatever reason. Is it already selected? Okay. No. And they can go down to eight knots just to make sure. And my destroyers are still fighting theirs, but destroyers are expendable, so this is not not that big of a deal, even if I lose one there. That's basically their job. Okay, wait, how much time? I actually do have enough time, so I can launch an airstrike too. That's nice. Dive bombers are needed against destroyers, I think. They are more likely to hit. And probably fighters? No. Okay. Dive bomber, torpedo bomber, fighter. Let's, uh, you guys go here somewhere. Large strike. And the other carrier division as well. It's only the Unrio. And launch a strike. Yes, we take up all the survivors. And there come the planes. Do they find something? Mm, not yet. Okay. It'll be interesting though whether that actually was a battleship that blew up right away. during an strike by them. Let's do a heavier cap. And I want to get bombed, especially as my battle cruisers are now going, now going rather slow to avoid damage. The last thing we want to face now is an airstrike on them. And as we can see with all the red dots jumping around here, the combat air patrol is over the target. Okay. Yep, it was actually a battle cruiser. Hmm? Good result. Another battle of Cape, Cape Mayak. To check, I actually will probably need 
couple of new destroyers and I can afford it so let's build a destroyer too even they get expensive now okay not enough ships stationed abroad um, what can I send? I barely have any cruisers left that's a problem Five thousand nine hundred point station. Okay, let's send one of the AA cruisers. Okay, we need to check on the planes as well. Never forget that. That float plane scout is obsolete. Medium bomber is now the most the oldest one. I want range and toughness or bomb load bomb load let's be offensive let's look okay i won't um, sacrifice prestige for for a peace option when the soviets declare they will fight to the end there's no point. A raid on costly shipping. Okay. Whatever that mission uh, message was. Hmm. Only one heavy cruiser. Well, let's just hope I'm not facing a battleship that's faster than me or that surprises me. And not too much air, please. Air attacks. I actually, this one should not scout, but join up with him. So he can help with air defense. That's basically what an AA cruiser is good for. Okay, radar contact. goes on and off. Need to make sure it's not a destroyer. It's probably too slow for one. Yeah. Yeah, let's close in here. Wait. I guess I split them up to make sure I get my two victor two ships sunk. And after that, I'll retreat again. No point in staying in front of their air f fields. Oh, it was two cruisers. I didn't even realize I had two of the light cruisers with me. Okay, okay and that's the second one, and that's already sh yeah, that's already mission accomplished. Very nice. Okay, let's go back, you guys. Okay, um, it's day but light rain, so air, air attacks shouldn't be that big of an issue. We could actually look to do a little more damage. That one shoots back, okay. Ah, it's a heavy cruiser. Let's see, does he have torpedoes? Yes, too submerged, okay. That's really old technology, but it's 21. So that's a 26 year old ship. Not really that modern. Whereas mine is a, like, a state of the art 12 inch, 12, 10 inch guns the heaviest I think you can't do 
um, 11 inch cruisers which would mean that's the heaviest uh, armament that a heavy cruiser can have so that should be an easy game easy win unless I allow him to torpedo me which is always an issue and he's already done perfect never hurts to sink another warship unless and he even blows up ok perfect and we already got another target let's go to 20 knots that looks like a corvette it's too slow for a destroyer ok it's a transport so let's sink him and look for something else another target, perfect. Let's see, and it's pretty slow, so I guess another transport. It's just um, collecting victory points basically and he's already done with. Yep. That torpedo was a waste. Uh, attacking me with torpedoes. Kasuga, of course my heavy cruiser eats a torpedo. Well at least it's god damn it, where did they come from? Is it possible there's a submarine? I guess it is. Let's slow them down now. So he please doesn't sink. I just put him into service and that would be rather unfortunate. Let's go down to eight knots. And that's it. Good. Oh, only light damage. So I guess its torpedo protection is rather good. Okay, I sunk a heavy cruiser. Yeah, they had one submarine. I don't think that was an air attack. I didn't get any message. So that should have been the submarine. Yes, I was lucky in this regard so that he didn't sink it. Okay. Another one is getting constructed. It turns to the next Yamato, and that one needs to be finished too. Um, after the destroyers are done, and that one I can start working on this. Last on the Yamato itself. No, on the Hatsuse. Hatsuse. That's a cap, that's good. Five submarines only left. So I need new submarines. Destroyer action. I don't think that should be a battle. Yes, good. Uh, yeah, let's build a few subs, I guess. Uh, too many, and it takes 16 turns. Yeah, I should be able. To, I mean, I can run a deficit for a while. Two 1,000 pound bombs, that's actually pretty weak for a medium bomber in 47. But they are all like this. And my corvettes are running out. Okay. Another convoy attack. Only destroyers this time. Okay. Night, a night battle is about to begin. That might be interesting. Unknown radar contact. Okay. 
limits only. I mean, my destroyers are really strong. So unless I allow them to torpedo me or they have cruisers or something, but even they're even strong enough to, to fight some, some light cruisers that aren't too strong. for them. So there will actually be more torpedo attacks soon. Okay, let's charge in. And they're already doing a lot of damage. To be careful now about torpedoes. But once more, I want to kill as many as possible of the transport ships because they are free victory points in the end. Shall we fight the destroyers? I think we should. We should be able to. So let's go full speed. Or oh, let's say 30 knots to close in with them. this up here there was another radar contact okay they are coming back so let's be careful about torpedo attacks turn away oh no now let's charge in be as unpredictable as possible If I'm right behind them, I'm safe. But as long as they have some kind of angle, I must expect them to torpedo me. Okay, let's see how good they are. Oh god, those are bad ones. Four. Okay, a six inch. That's actually a pretty strong armament. Eight torpedo tubes. Well, it's, it's six, four six inch against eight five inch. I think it's still not a competition as we can see and I even have more of them so but this one for instance might be able to torpedo me so let's get a little closer angle in and keep pummeling them does it actually I think it actually simulates the the land here so I wasn't able to radar him while he's behind the land that's that's actually pretty nice Okay guys, sink those destroyers please, turn to avoid torpedoes, ah uh, yeah let's just hunt this one, this seems closer. And he's being hit. Every time this is a red, there's a red dot on this, he's being hit. So unfortunately, he's so far rather resilient. But that won't be forever, and I think he's already slowing down. Let's 
speed up a little. Now oh, we can only do 27 knots anymore. Guess some damage to the funnels or something like that. And unless that one turns around, yeah, he might actually get away. Do I want to chase him or uh, that one seems like an easier target. So let's go for him. And if that doesn't work out, it doesn't really matter because I already have more than enough victory points. And even if I make a mistake here and get one of my destroyers torpedoed, that would still be a, s a pretty solid win. Can you guys please sink him? I mean he's been hit quite a lot of time and now he's, he's visibly slowing down and that's it finally okay let's do one more drive by just to make sure and then we'll retreat okay Let's go here and you can go cruise speed. Good. Two destroyers, that one was heavily damaged, but unfortunately I didn't get him. Well, I didn't lose a single ship, so good result for me. Oh yeah, I need more Corvettes too. Two K guns. Ah, oh, let's design a new one. as many K guns as possible and let's give him two inch belt and at least five inch guns and make it a thousand tons yeah let's use coal it's not legal okay only c they can't carry mines okay make it four inch but three of them yep that sounds good let's give him this good fire control improve the AA as well and we can even make them dual purpose and give him increased elevation I mean I could save more money by neglecting things like that but it's not that much uh, and I need to put one more destroyer for the not foreign station transport trade protection that's what I want them to do okay cruiser action they decline Another convoy attack. That's getting boring now. But they can't muster enough because I'm already sinking everything. Problem is I, I now I just have to wait for them to be willing to capitulate. I can take one more province from them, the Baltic states, but I don't have a fleet there. What do they have? Yeah, no chance of getting enough troops here to be able to actually conquer that. So the only way to get it would be through a peace treaty and I don't actually want the Baltic states because why would I want another province here to bother?
Good. They sunk a neutral ship, which is making the neutrals unhappy. Coastal bombardment. Okay. AI core. This is carrier division 10. What's the other carrier division? 6. Okay. So that way they will hopefully follow the other ones. And the battle cruisers go in to kill the target. Okay. Um, when it and when as it is night. I can actually send the carriers right back. It's absolutely no point in sending them forward. Or is the battle? Yeah, the battle might last long enough. Okay, so in that regard, I should probably keep them close. After all, Why are they running towards the battle cruisers and not to that one? No idea. Mysteries of the program and secret of the programmers. And on radar contact, okay. One is already done. Question is, is it a destroyer? Merchant, okay. Really need new battle cruisers. I think all of them are pretty old. It's about time the war ends that I can start a new building spree. shooting the bombardment target that's something you really want to hit you kill us too to kill too because you leave if you leave it alive that's a lot of victory points for the Russians for your opponent but um, uh, this time luckily it works occasionally the bombardment target is inside a minefield so at night you can't identify it it's really and that could be better programming but this time it worked out and we sunk one ship again, one more. Regarding how slow they are, I'm somewhat doubtful. I'm, I'm, I don't think this is, those are destroyers. I mean, I better change course to make sure I'm not being torpedoed. This one is about to go down. Okay. But I guess a corvette, maybe a transport. Oh, okay, seaplane carrier, that's actually, should be more victory points. Yeah, pretty sure. So let's see what this is. Let's kill that one off as well. Let's hope there are no minefields here. I 
detailed map. Hey there. But that should be the victory for this. Where is it? Is it sunk? Or why don't I even have a radar contact anymore? No, there it is. And I hope I can finally end this war so I can start scrapping all ships because I have far too many ancient ships still in service. That's another observation I made. I th oh, what? A battleship. Oh, well then chasing it down actually was worth it. Does it have torpedoes? I don't think so. Yes, it does. Oh, let's see. Isomo. Fire torpedoes. High hit probability. Let's see. They are so old they still have submerged torpedo tubes. Uh, <laughs> I think that's at least the second one, but I can't remember. It might already be the third one. The game always is like... Um, they really like to keep you busy, so like in real, like it is in reality that you will very well have like 10, 20 years of peace. You have to struggle hard to achieve this in this game and sacrifice um, prestige for that and all of this. And um, it usually you fight only two to three nations most of the time. Uh, another treaty battleship, okay, so not that valuable. Um, so I, I think I only had no. I had war, two wars with Nazi Nazi Germany, at least two with the French, maybe three, and this should be the second or the third war with the Russians. Funny enough, now I'm actually allied with the French and the Italians. So not the French this time. Yeah, uh, no, 20s politics, what do you mean by that? To me this game is like, as I, as I like to say, I really enjoy the f fleet design, the, the building part. I play this more like um, like an economic game or something where you want to because I enjoy building oh yeah yeah um, but uh, the the war fighting part is kind of annoying to me especially as I don't like the engine too much and um, like in one two battles ago I lost another light cruiser he was hit by one torpedo but the flooding wasn't that hard I reduced the speed but for whatever reason only the game itself knows the speed was increased again and again and again until it finally sunk. Despite the, the um, squadron, the damaged ship, ship being under manual control. So um, this can be rather tiresome. Um, but the game itself obviously is addressing people who really like the fighting part. I think this engine comes from, what is it, Iron and Steel or something, which was a standalone game, or is a, is a standalone game where you only fight naval battles like this. And they built the shipbuilding part around it, if I understand it correctly. So the focus, a big part of the game is the fighting part, which to me is kind of annoying, but I guess you can't have everything you want. Yeah, it's it's the AI captains, steel and iron, yes. The AI captains are really frustrating and t at times. And then again, like mistakes that you lose a battle because you are supposed to bombard a target, but the um, de game designers let it spawn inside a um, inside an enemy harbor which is protected by a minefield and at night you can't close in far close you can't get close enough to spot it so you can't sink it and that is just frustrating beyond anything you 
Oh well, nothing you can do there. Okay, another battle. And I can build some corvettes, so let's build 12. Yeah, but I mean the war is going well. I've conquered Kamchatka. So the only province that is left for the Soviets are the Baltic states and even if I could get them in a peace treaty I'm, I'm not sure whether I actually want them because they would force me to send ships here. I mean of course if I know I'm going to war with Germany soon I could send, I could build that base up and then send a lot of ships there but I'm, I, I rather want to play it somewhat realistically and why would Jap Japan ever ask for a province at the in the Baltics? I want to concentrate only on the Pacific. So, like a war with um, with Great Britain would be doable. So I can conquer something like Hong Kong and so on. Enemy raid on coastal shipping with four DDs. Okay, but I'm not interested in in a huge. It's day, okay. I'm not interested in, in huge territorial gains worldwide. Okay, that's Carrier Division 5. Yeah, a little bit like that. Uh, Great East Asian Coast Prosperity Sphere, basically. That's my goal. Liberate everything from the White Devils. Liberate in, in, in terms of exploiting it, enslaving it, while smiling. Okay, I have no idea where their ships are and I hope my Aericon will spot them. Do I have any spotting yet? No. I mean, they should probably, if it's somewhat realistic, they should come from L Vladivostok, so down here. But I have no idea. Let's just hope I spot them in time and they don't run into my carriers. Oh, okay, Taiho, yeah. <laughs> so my carriers spot them by a surface radar. Awesome. Um, I guess you speed up and go south and launch an airstrike. Launch strike. And you go to what float plane? No, not float plane. Carriers, dive bombers, Shukaku. Can I launch four? No, I can only launch three. And Taiho as well launch strike. Okay. Now those, what is here? That's another carrier. I think we let him go south as well. And I don't really want to go with my what are those? The battle cruisers. Yeah, they shouldn't really go through here and then face the cruiser uh, the destroyers coming down. So I guess I'll just... Oh, they are pretty fast. It's 1947, maybe 48 now. So last I... Wait, the time, isn't it somewhere down here? Yeah, 48, January 48. And I'm still running battle cruisers from the 20s is probably kind of a waste of resources because they are actually up to upgraded several times despite only having two inch two and a half inch deck armor but yeah I'm stingy how about the airstrikes are they coming at some point where are the destroyers going now they are going mid okay So let's go up again. Everything full of planes, so when they, do they finally attack? I mean, everything here is filled with planes. So... Okay, 
they're shooting them up. I mean, my destroyers are, yeah. Yeah, and that was the basic idea, that to have something like the Congos um, in the game. That's why I started 1920 and tried to keep the treaty for alive for as long as possible. Because that is something I, I disliked in Rule the Waves 1, that the limitations you get by the treaty are not really important. They are only hurtful in the moment the treaty is signed for the ships that are scrapped. But um, all you need to do is take every, every chance to provoke, to increase tensions, and like a year or two later, the treaty is already gone again, and that was something I, I only um, um, I disliked about the first treaty because I said I, I like the economic part a lot, that designing of the ship where you have to make the decision of um, giving it more armor or making it faster, or do I want to increase the gun size or. What is if I de decrease the gun size, then I c it can be two knots faster, and, and so on and so forth. I really like this part. Like this is the best of the game to, for me. And then you have this great opportunity to modernize the ship. It, to I mean, it, what it's almost almost perfect. Oh, well, it's very good. You can't you can't increase the bore like the like the Italians did with their um, 12 inch guns, which they increased by one and a half centimeters. But I like this part really a lot and that this part doesn't make too much sense when you don't have a naval treaty. So that's why I did it. And if we check here and see from when the ships are, 32 are my treaty, cru treaty battleships. That's the second naval treaty after the first um, Japanese French war. And those are from 1917. And if we see, eight 13 inch guns in this weird setup so this one only has the small arc of fire they are elite so pretty nicely trained and i've modernized as much as i could i think i gave them quite some time ago i gave them new engines too um i mean I, I don't think I had anything much worse than the actual Washington Naval Treaty. So I think at one time there was a treaty which they limited me to 8,000 tons and 8 inch, I think. But in general, I liked that. I would prefer also that they had added the factor that a treaty was like in reality, setting a maximum number of ships. So like the if it's signed now, the as Great Britain has to decide uh, to scrap, has to scrap 10 of its battleship ships and has to choose which ones. That would be really nice if that was a part of the game too. But yeah, I guess you can't have everything. Okay, and that was one again, but now it's, this is another boring part. I mean, the, the war is one. What do they have here? Okay, here they have eight battleships, so maybe the war isn't one yet. The question is whether I should send mine down. I probably should. I should have enough basing here too. Yeah, I mean, I had that too. 10 inch and, and 10k is, is, is actually more than the historic Washington Naval Treaty, which limited them to 8 inch. And you just build heavy cruisers then. But um, I, I enjoy that because it's, it's adding a, a very different flavor. And, and right now I'm tempted to build ships as big as possible, as we see here with the Yamato class, 16, 17 inch guns. But um, being limited to a small amount, we see those battleships here, 18,000 limit, 12 inch guns. And there were 16 inch uh, ships already in service. so. Which meant that if you have such a naval treaty and you have a 15-year-old battleship but it has 16-inch guns, then it absolutely is worth upgrading it. So I really like enjoy this part. In that regard, I enjoy the, the uh, limitation that they force you to take. So yeah, I think I should force a battle. 
they don't seem to be willing to come up here they are here for quite some time already so I guess I'm sending some my battle fleet on there they have eight battleships two carriers okay. yeah let's let's try to get a battle With the Yamatos and the Shinanos Mikasa mm, six Um, and those four ba battle cruisers, I guess the two. I mean, if you see my my later designed heavy cruisers are basically as heavy as the battleships, the old ones. So let's take those, the modernized Hoshos and all the Shokakos, and hope. Well, in worst case, I can just decline battle. Um, yeah, I can show them to you in a moment. Let me just send them south first. Okay, move. But those are trade protection. I shouldn't send them. Southeast Asia. The Shinano class are um, another kind of treaty battleships. So, no, those are Shinanos, yeah. Those are from 42, so they are pretty modern. And they are decided to build ships that aren't that big um, in, in the, with the intention to save money. So, um, two quadruple 16 inch turrets to keep the armor, the citadel, as, as small as possible. Um, six inch dual purpose, 14, p 14 and 14 three inch dual purpose, 13 belt, five and a half inch deck. I think they are pretty, pretty strong ships. Mm, yeah, and I think I should give the um, Takao. What are the bases here? Because I haven't given them airplanes. Formosa, where is it? Northeast Asia, Southeast Asia, Kilung and Takao. Borneo might also be. Yeah, let's. Let's. Okay, Balikpapan, or to add aircraft. when I expect to fight them there. Takao. I think oh, I also think that planes are a little too expensive. You just get broke. Um, yeah, I decided well it's the the design the the designer sets up if you look at it here. It's like a Nelson class and the design when I clicked on auto design actually had three triple turrets but I dislike the design in the way that the third turret has a very limited arc of fire and if you move the turret to the back the citadel grows bigger a lot so the ship is heavier and you can give them less armor but by putting them in quadruple turrets you keep the citadel short and okay it's it's like in reality it's the risk of them being taken out and everyone who plays the game knows that um, turrets actually fail quite a lot but with 16 inch armor for the turrets they should be pretty safe I have, I, to be honest though I haven't completely checked it all the time um, whether or not how, how, um, how often the turrets fail but I guess they should be pretty solid and um, ship battles aren't that that often anymore they become less and less like in reality they want improved carrier design yeah why not let's give it to them okay let's see so the last one was 232 now we are over 300 miles and range up to 1 1160 
firepower is equal, toughness is the strongest here, so let's take that one. It's longer range, uh, it's basically the best in almost everything. It is the best, yeah, let's take that one. Okay, I have no idea why my aircraft carriers don't do any um, convoy rating anymore. Let me check, do they have air groups? Yeah, they do. Weird. Because initially it worked quite well. Yeah, I, I'd highly doubt that they simulate the... the no, they, I, I not only highly doubt, I'm absolutely sure that they don't simulate that the turrets are basically two turrets glued together. Like, um, as you rightfully say, the French did. And it's even simulated here, if you look closely, I think, at least to me, it looks like there's a gap in between. And that gap, historically, as you, as you obviously know, came because of the, the armored bulkhead in, inside of the turret. So basically one half might blow up from a full hit, but the other two barrels would still be able to shoot unless the whole turret is damaged in such a way that it can't turn anymore. But one half of the turret might burn out after a hit, everyone inside dead, but the other two barrels well, would still shoot. Well, you can't have everything. Six inch dual purpose mounting, yeah, whatever. I think we are at a phase that I expect them to be able to research it anyways pretty soon. Yeah, now they come. Now there's a fleet battle and everything. Do I still have enough? They actually are stronger than me. Yeah, whatever, let's risk it. We'll take ships. <laughs> no, I probably... No, they'll probably rush my carrier and I'll be sunk twilight and I'll lose my my carrier because it's being gunned down or something like that or being sunk by airplanes oh well, we'll see what are those battle cruisers yeah they are treaty battle cruisers with tw with impressive 12 inch guns okay unknown radar contact. It's twilight and I think, yeah, it's getting light. So we can already start an, an airstrike, I guess. Dive bomber. Torpedo bomber. Now yeah, let's send it without escort. Okay. Full speed in. No time to waste. Where are they going? God damn it. And I don't think I want you to charge into that. Okay, yeah, that's that's a treaty battleship. Prof intern, I faced I sunk a couple of them already. Yep. And he already has one turret being taken out. And that's another battle cruiser. I think I should probably concentrate. Oops. <laughs> okay. Well, the uh, Soviets helped scuttle one of my obsolete battle cruisers, I guess. class yeah and I guess of course god damn it 16 inch 42,000 tons and I'm charging him with 19,000 and 12 inch guns um, I'm not sure that's a great idea <laughs> yeah uh, let's have let's see it positively and I think uh, I'll have to run like here with him and hope he's not getting spotted, which he will, because they have a carrier. BC bonded. Okay, they are attacking the Alexander Suvorov, if I see it correctly. 
Yeah. Maybe my torpedo bombers hit something. They seem to be pretty well trained. Okay, they are taking something else. Okay, at least they are doing damage. Guess I have to send the fleet back to home waters if suddenly their fleet is now here. Okay, I got combat air patrol. And now this is some close in fighting. Interesting. Oh, yeah, he has his turrets in front. So if I ma actually manage to stay behind him, he won't have the angle to shoot me. Like now, I'm, I'm now I should be completely safe. So I have to like, like just stay behind him and move from side to side. Okay, he's fleeing north. If I go full speed, 29 knots, can I charge by? Let's hope I can. Enemy aircraft coming now. Okay. There are two battle. No, I guess that's two sighting of the same ship after uh, the same time. What is the objective? I have to sink any ship. I have to sink ships. God damn it. Pretty slow already. Okay, let's see, is another airstrike ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay, ship. Battleship. When was it last spotted? I think when it's like 30 and then zeros after each other, that means like it, that ship is probably sunk already. Something like that. I guess. Because usually it should say um, a time when it was last spotted. Yeah. And I think those are my older destroyers that don't have dual purpose main guns yet. So it's more easy for them as well. Um, they For the enemy airplanes to attack because their air defense should be pretty weak. Okay, good. My bombers have found something. Four bomb hits. That's nice. So where was it? Do I have any sighting report? No, I don't. But I don't really want to charge the, the, unless I sunk one of their battleships with my airstrike. I'm facing a vast. <laughs> 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 okay. I guess I know now why one of them blew up, because three out of four turrets are destroyed. Yeah. Charging after them with only two 13-inch turrets, two 13-inch barrels doesn't seem to make too much sense. And three torpedo hits, nice. That might very well sink one, if I'm lucky. Strikes already co are coming back. Let's see. And they are ready again. Nice. Or oh, unready, but they will be ready to strike again. I think here were the last sightings. So let's launch another strike as soon as possible. Mm. Ah, 
let's go from this here. One bomber, okay. Oh yeah, they have a lot of air defense. So I guess they are getting shot down, which is kind of sad because the pilots seem to be really good by now. Um, the basic idea was um, for the defense of Japan that almost everyone who was able to walk would, would um, fight and they were planning to give school children and uh, women and everyone obviously they didn't have enough guns for 50 million people so actually the plan was to have people charge the American soldiers with um, bamboo sticks that were sharpened in the end. Okay, why is that one sinking? We should probably just slow down to 10 knots in case one of the escorts is still damaged and alive. Okay, how many of them? Eight. Eight torpedo bombers. Eight torpedo bombers is a decent number. Maybe I can launch a strike somewhere here. Let's see. Yeah. Well, you can't, you definitely can't say that the um, commander, the captain of the battle cruiser, is a coward. He kept running after the superior enemy battle cruiser with only one turret ready. It's, it's always a question of determination. And I actually sunk that battleship with my aircraft carriers. Nice. My carrier plane. Yeah, but as I didn't sink two ships, I lost a lot of points in this. That here. Okay, let me see what have I lost them to AA fighter operational losses. Air to air, they shot down eight of my torpedo bombers. Okay. I shot down three. Hmm. These fighters seem to be more successful. Oh well. And one less battle cruiser then. Okay, and let me guess now he has his. Yeah, of course, now his fleet is somewhere else. Okay, then let's send them back. No point in waiting for him here. Yeah, it's. it's um, Let's let me put it this way. I really like this game, but I see a lot of potential to improve it Wolf ship Northeast Asia Send them all back. Wait, isn't it possible to just click here? Move ships. Yeah. Um, wait, the radar is not, the foreign stations are not. That's it. The rest is going to Northeast Asia. Okay, everything all right here. Production, yes, next Yamato is done. Dive bomber with 305 knots. Okay. Need to check on my enemy coastal rate here. Okay, that's actually fine. No, oh. my anti-aircraft cruisers again. Let's see. But 
that design wasn't that successful. Another thing where I'd love to be able to change something like setting doctrines for every new ship class. So you order them, you, you tell the game those ships are meant for um, fleet defense and not for missions like this. I guess I'll have to learn programming and write my own game at some point. <laughs> or maybe I'm... Oh, radar contact, okay. Okay, now let's be careful I'm not getting torpedoed here. Looks. Uh, might be a cruiser. Let's see. Well, it's already getting slower. Hit by a duck torpedo. That was lucky. Okay. Yeah, I guess a destroyer. From the size of it, uh, it might be a cruiser. Don't they have radar? I have never realized seeing the Soviet shoot me at night. Not a single hit on me. Seems like they don't even have radar. On the other hand, they wouldn't be able to shoot torpedoes if they wouldn't see me. Okay. Oh, it was a destroyer. Okay. So, Yamato is done. And now the next ship's finishing pretty soon, so let's start the last Yamato. But he could have been lucky. Um, if with his torpedoes, he could have easily sunk one of the cruisers. Um, but still the war continues and I'm still not able to make peace because they just refuse and as I already have what I want which is Kamchatka ah there it is yeah let's let's waste another prestige for it <laughs> god damn it what am I supposed to do with them Yeah, Japanese... What? A destroyer here? What is a destroyer of me doing here? It's probably one of the trade protection ones. Oh, let's auto-resolve it. Charles, yeah. Four, destroy four new destroyers, that's helpful. And better radar, perfect, that's good. Yeah, the thing is, they have a decent fleet there and I have no fleet support and I'm still not sure, but I think um, that might end up to my ships being interned at some point. And we've seen that his fleet is still pretty sizable. I mean, now he has four battleships here and I think I need to sink them first before I can send away my fleet. Rate on coastal shipping, large. Yeah, I, I I have to check too. I I honestly haven't really understood the the support system yet. So um, I know that you can send more, but it's probably then up to range. So if I have a long range, it probably means that I might be able to draw from like two. Uh, use the support that is two two zones away or something like that must be something like this and this is like a b seems like a bug too the ships are spawning on top of each other uh, I, d I guess it is a bug but that also means i can't just select or well, not that easily carrier division six and nine okay so how about six follows and uh, nine follows carrier division six wouldn't that be how about that 
and um, you guys scout for the cruiser division. Oh, it's with a cruiser division then. Uh, I hope I don't find battleships. Let's start an airstrike while we still can because it looked like night is coming. Torpedo bombers have priority. Let's take them one fighter. Can I take dive bombers too? Sukako, so yep. Okay. Um, yeah. Launch strike. And torpedo bomber and a fighter. Okay, it's too, too big. Launch strike. I have, yeah, yeah. I have um, fire control radar and I think air, that should be air radar too. And I, I think I prioritized it too, the research. And I, I'm using um, the biggest amount of, of budget for um, research since the beginning of the game. Nice, the air attack is still going despite the twilight. Bomb hits. So I think I might be far ahead of anyone else and I'm selling technology all the time which is an indicator too that um, nice torpedo hits which, which is an indicator that my technology is far better obviously. Another, oh that's a lot of torpedo hits. That's nice. Um, I think the planes themselves don't have radar. Now the ships have, have air, air radar, but the planes themselves probably don't. That's a lot of torpedo hits. And if they strike valuable targets, that would be pretty nice. Okay, yeah, it's all here now. Even though I think so far they only said the strikes on heavy cruisers. Still air attacks. And another two torpedo hits, awesome. The Japanese actually trained a lot for night air attacks and they managed to surprise and hit the Americans several times despite them having radar and the Japanese not having air radar. They did a really, really good job. Yeah, like you mean the, the air attack on Toronto, for instance, even though that was on a, on a harbor and they dropped um, flare bombs, I think the name is in English. So um, they illuminated the sky for them. Yeah, yeah, that was a night. But they had, um, some of the swordfish had uh, illumination flares to make, um, to illuminate the scenery. And um, it was a strike on not moving targets. So what the Japanese did was far uh, more difficult. And like the, the um, fleet uh, that was guarding the invasion and supporting the invasion of Iwo Jima, for instance, got attacked, uh, I think in the third or fourth night of the invasion. And if I remember correctly, they even managed to hit a, an aircraft carrier. So um, the Japanese managed to do, to strike ships at sea without radar. That is really a feat. In, in, in Guadalcanale, in the, the first sea battles there, in, I think in Savo, at Sabo Island, they, they actually managed to surprise American ships that had radar and beat them. But then again, the radar at this time was like really crude and simple. 
but as we see my objective of sinking two ships is already fulfilled I have honestly no clue what was sunk but I think they had air attacks on heavy cruisers so it might actually even be ships that was that were worth striking yeah the Japanese had fantastic optics their glasses were um, were uh, helping them see at night what is it like um, enhancing the the light and so on Japanese were known for that and they spent a lot of money and lives to train this they they um, in the in the interwar period where they had identified the Americans as the most likely enemy they were realistic enough that they knew they couldn't fight them in an open battle without any uh, preparation to that to whittle them down so they trained to have their forces whittle the American fleet down while it supposedly sails towards Japan for a decisive battle and part of that were night attacks and they lost um, I think at least two destroyers in the trainings in the maneuvers one of them capsized and I think rammings and they, sh they should have lost several hundred men in peacetime over the years just for training for this um, attack so they really took it serious yeah, and I guess I can basically already retreat again. I mean, the mission is fulfilled. I don't see anything, and my carriers again, as I haven't taken care of them, are just like waltzing around, hoping not to run into any cruisers or battleships. So I guess I just order everyone. Oh, light is coming again, yeah. You guys go here. And you guys go also here, and if the light comes fast enough I will actually just ready another strike spotted a submarine okay okay let's start another airstrike then Mission on zero planes, okay. Um, yeah, let's go here again, I guess. Why can't I launch the strike? supposed to go to okay let's see whether we can catch some more that too yes but I mean you, you this only becomes a problem if you go to your limits if you go out in heavy weather and and really uh, use the ship to their absolute maximum of the of their possibilities. If you stay in harbor and don't run full speed in heavy seas, be having a top heavy ship is far less of an issue. What was the name of that designer? The naval designer, I forgot that. Damn it. Uh, let's try it another time. Yeah, of course. I've no idea how that is supposed to end. If they are declining every piece offer despite me crushing them. Destroyer action. Uh, coastal bombardment. I think this will also be the, the last um, battle. It's about time to go to sleep soon. 
So yeah, my carriers once more. Screen them. You too. I guess so. Those are yeah. There, those are several air um, carrier groups again. Uh, this here. You guys charge in full speed. What do they do? Let's go with twenty three knots. And I can launch airstrikes right away. I think. Torpedo bomber. Why can't they? Twilight. Oh, it's getting dark. Is that the issue? Now they can suddenly, I have no idea why. Okay, torpedo bomber is the priority. And dive bombers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't, I can't conquer Vladivostok as it's considered to be a home area. I think in Rule the Waves One it was possible. If you had ten victory points, you could ask for, a, or ask for something like Vladivostok. I'm not sure though, because you usually wouldn't get um, ten victory points. But um, everything else except the Baltic is conquered. No, I won't stop pulling Stalin. I want to shave his moustache. I'm a collector of moustaches. That's why I fought two wars against Nazi Germany as well. To shave Hitler. Should I just ignore them? But where is he going? Yeah, that is carrier group 6 and that is group 9. So 9 could go follow group 6 if they actually do it this time. And they just go ahead to the bombardment target. That is a transport. Yeah. Light cruiser, apparently. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess I have to fight until they collapse for this to be uh, one battle. Okay, let's slow down. So we're staying. Enemy CV hit by a torpedo. Oh, by two, by three. Huh? Maybe I'm sinking a carrier. That would be nice. And a seaplane tender. <laughs> yeah, probably. But I mean, their fleet is still sizable. The issue is just that my. And it's already destroyed, now that's nice. The thing is that my um, navy is just better. I have some very strong ships and in the the treaty era I think my ships are better too. I probably invested more in updating them, upgrading them. And I have night training and artillery as I think I have both of them in, in training for my crews, gunnery and uh, night fighting. And I have no idea whether the AI does that, probably not. Who is being shot? And I think you guys should probably return and not be ahead of the battle cruisers. I wonder where they are. 
I don't even see what they spotted here. Where was their aircraft carrier? Hmm. I wonder, can I actually launch night strikes? I can. Wow, that's cool. Probably very hard to find them, but it seems like it's actually possible to do airstrikes at night. I mean, as we see here, it's all filled with planes still. I mean, who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to be ruled by an emperor? So I could very well understand that. I think I should liberate the Russian peasants. Oops. Shukaku hit by a torpedo. Not good. Not good. Where are they coming from? Destroyer again? Uh, um, submarine, I guess. Kaku limits flooding. Let's hope that won't turn into a problem. No, I should probably slow down, even though that's an issue with the... Um, but I think the, they don't simulate the, the, the um, submarines moving. So in that regard, uh, it's probably safe to slow them down, unless I run over another submarine, but that usually shouldn't have a happen. But let's try to get it... Okay, now that's an issue. Submarine, okay, where is it? Okay. My anti-submarine, uh, my anti-torpedo protection seems to be pretty decent. This little damage in 1948 from a torpedo, that's like nothing. Okay, so when it's here I should probably try to avoid running over that submarine with my battle cruisers as well. He had two shots already. So in that regard, seems better to not lose another ship by stupidity. Okay, let's check the air over. Does he flood? No, he doesn't. That's good. Shokaku. Uh, yeah, seems okay to flooding. Let's get them into harbor as fast as possible. I don't know, can you can you see that? Probably in the protocol I hardly ever look into it. Log entry. Mine torpedo, no. Just says mine torpedo and limits flooding. But at least I said the damage doesn't seem too big and that it's just yeah, the submarine is just uh, lurking around somewhere here. So I just send them all here into my port and I should be safe. Wait, I could do another airstrike, I guess. Maybe their carrier is still around somewhere. No idea where it could be. Let's just launch it here. Useful that they don't have to go full speed and turn into the wind to launch airstrikes here. In this regard, it, it doesn't put too much emphasis on being realistic. But I won't complain. Okay, um, no, the battle cruisers shouldn't run into port right away. So let's let them go out again. And have the carriers go close to port but not into it yet. Because. I don't know what happens to the plane of 
how the planes are simulated. Ah, oh, they found someone. Very nice. I don't know what happens if, if the carrier disappears in port, but the planes are still outside. They might just drop out of the sky because it doesn't know, doesn't simulate um, them landing on an airfield then or something like that. So I got one torpedo hit on something. That's good. I don't have a catapult and in 48 the plane should be far too heavy to start from slow planes, slow ships, but the game just doesn't simulate it. As said, we, we shouldn't forget that this game is pro, uh, programmed, I think, I think by just three guys with one main programmer. So the, the amount of, of code he can write to um, do a game engine that simulates all the possibilities we talk about that is probably just too much work for him. On the other hand, if you somebody playing this game probably has a higher emphasis on um, realism than the average Joe in that regard it would probably be still um, being appreciated. I don't know is it open open beta do is doesn't open beta at least impl Im impl what is it what is the word imply yeah doesn't it at least imply that it's for free? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that's probably the past nowadays. Many games are, are sold in open beta, yeah. But, uh, I mean, the game is fun. I really enjoy playing it. I played a lot lately, too. So I won't, I, I shouldn't complain too much. I enjoy it a lot. They have a lot of sightings over here. So how much time is there? Uh, not that much. And if they have a carrier still, I won't send my battle cruisers out there. So let's just go to port and take what we have. Yeah, I think it might be considered still beta. I mean, for instance, the missiles, they are um, like you have it already in the designer and you have the research, but it's not, it's not, what, why is the cargo out here alone? Okay, at least it's not damaged. Um, the um, missiles are, are part of the code already, but they aren't activated yet, so they will do this in a later patch then. Okay. Let's help that one into port. And then hopefully the battle should end. That is another thing I don't like, that you always have to wait until uh, to force them basically to end the, the game. And that is interesting. I get reports of cruisers being bombed and of an aircraft carrier. And how many torpedo hits did I have? So did they just all attack one freighter who had cork as cargo and thus didn't sink after 10 torpedo hits? I have no idea what that is supposed to mean. But apparently no carrier sunk, no, no cruiser sunk, nothing. Ah, well, another battle at the Yalu. Okay, let's recap. So now they are back here with their fleet, which, from which they fled. Here in South Africa are another three battleships. I've taken Kamchatka. Is it here? Kamchatka and um, everything else here is conquered from them. This can't be taken as its home base. The fleets are. Um, I mean, it, when we look at the ready ships, I'm extremely superior. Th not not at least to my thanks to my Yamatos battle cruisers. Um, yeah, I really need to new ones if we look at the French here with 13. Four times as many tonnage. Carriers, I'm no longer okay. I was superior in numbers for a long time, but now Americans and British have surpassed me. I'm still in overall, I think the Japanese Empire is, is decently well off. 
Um, we were able to expand the territory so far. Technology, we are probably the, the leader overall. Um, what is here? Amphibious, naval, ship. Where is radar here? Yeah, radar. So fire control radar three is researched. I think overall we are pretty well off. The only question is now at war for 31 months uh, when the Soviets will finally give in. But we see my unrest level is one. So the Japanese people don't care at all about the war. And I think we already had the message that the Soviets are having food riots or something like that. In this regard, so far it went well. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to finish the war, and I need to build new, new aircraft carriers. And I want to finally scrap all the treaty battleships, but I, I feel somewhat hesitant to do it in a war. That seems the wrong, wrong um, time, and I definitely urgently need new battle cruisers. But. Um, in general, I think we are fairly well off. We are very weak on the cruiser side. So, as usually, I mean, I'm always struggling here to, to keep the resemblance of a balanced fleet. Even though I should have the strongest battleship at all. <laughs> but I haven't even seen it in action yet. In 31 months of war, I haven't seen the Yamatos firing their guns even once in, in anger. So I guess that's pretty realistic then. Uh, my carriers are starting to sink more and more. Anyways, um, let's call it a day for now. We are at two hours of stream already again, and it's getting late. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't uh, forget to follow, and I will probably stream again tomorrow night um, when we try to finally crush the Soviets. So again, thank you for watching. See you soon, and uh, good night, goodbye.